Hello, Melanie. Welcome. Thank you for joining. So let's. Oh, it's only you and me. So. Okay, so we're going to begin because it's already one. And today is our session number 16, right? And it's October 21st, and it's our last class, right? That's our Dima class. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about getting hands today. And also, we're going to check on the final exam, right? So we can, you know, wrap up. Um, or have a wrap up of all the information that we have discussed during this section. Um, also, do not forget, right, just to be, um, you know, try to get information, right, uh, to know if your documentation has been already sent, et cetera, right. And then uh, what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to just make sure, right, that you have completed, you know, all the sections or the different sections in um, in the platform, right? So that's one of the most important things. And then uh, we're going to move and that's going to be the end, right, of the class. So yesterday we stopped in um, point five, point ten, right? And the aim or the main objective for that uh, class, right? Well, that section. It says by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. So we were adding more information, right, to the list that we already have, right? And those are just simple abilities, right? But some of us, well, like in my in my case, right, I probably am not able to, you know. Um, I'm not able to do some of them, but anyway. So there you have bake a cake, the sign, a web page. Bueno, hoy en día diseñar una página, but it's a little bit easier, right? Paja, if it is yours, es suya. And there are different, you know, um, different, I would say, companies, right? That offers you the option for you to build up your own web page right so i i have experienced that and it's kind of cool right it's bonito porque uno puede crear su página web and that's something that's something good okay sound the solo back on elementos etc and that's kind of cool then it says do gymnastics fix a car fix a motorcycle paint pictures play chess play the violin ride a horse Think English songs and serve, and finally tell good jokes. Right? There are some people that can tell good jokes, right? And and those are you know, you know, kind of funny. Uh, I'm not that type of person, right? I think if I make a joke, <laughs> that's gonna be about myself, but not about you know other people. And there you have four different categories. The four different categories that you have is musical or artistic, then you have athletic, clinical or mechanical, and other, right? So those, all of them, you know, can be, um, how can I say it? Those, all of those can be uh, classified within those four categories, right? And then uh, you have, um, you know, in the middle, it says abilities and talents. So we have musical or artistical. What are the ones that you could put there? What well, well, we poner in musical or artistic, according to you? Musical or artistic? Okay, no problem. I'll try to do it. You know what I said? We can have, for example, musical or artistic. We can have um, paint pictures, right? Paint pictures. We can add um, probably play the violin, right? Play the violin. 
And uh, well, let's leave it like that, right? Musical or artistical? And you see the sign of web page. Okay, let's leave it like that. Just two things, right? Now, what about what about employee? Perdón. Hello. Hello. No, es el play de violín, decía yo, en, en música. Anita, creo que tiene problemas de conexión porque no se le escucha. Está como rhetoric. Ajá. Sí, sí, no se le escuchaba, perdón. A veces cuando hay problemas de conexión y habla, se escucha así como, como, como rhetoric, right? And, and we are unable to understand. So then we have athletic, right? So in athletic, meaning sports, right? We can add to gymnastics. Gymnastics. Okay, we can add probably, well, I don't know if play chess goes here. No sé si iría acá. Puede ir en other también, yo no sé. No sé si es considerado un deporte. De ser el bar, ¿no? <laughs> then you have uh, probably, Right a horse, right, like ride horse, right a horse, right, ride a horse. Okay, then you have surf, probably, right? Surf. So those probably can be considered as a, I don't know, as athletic, right? We're going to put it here. And let's move on. We're going to add the painful or mechanical, right? So let's see what can we find here. Um, well, the final web page, right? Speak a card. Okay, fix a card to find a web page. Fix a card. Fix a card. Is fix a motorcycle, right? So a motor, motorcycle. Okay. And uh, let's see, clinical or mechanical? Uh, probably those, right? Let's go ahead and leave it like that. And then we have other. Now, in the other, section right you have bake a cake the first one um then probably we can add um, this ride a horse ride a horse right okay bueno lo dejaría en athletic siempre mejor but we can have seen english english songs right and probably tell good jokes right so, Good jokes. Okay, very good. So that is probably those are probably some of the ones that uh, I will leave there. Now you can go ahead and make up your sentences, right? It says I can fix a car, but I but I can't fix a motorcycle, right? So I can fix a car, but I can't fix a motorcycle. So think about two things, verdad? Ayer les dejé tarea ayer. Y ustedes me iban a compartir un poquito sobre eh, cómo habían preparado sus oraciones, ¿verdad? Eran cinco cosas que podían hacer y cinco cosas que no podían hacer. Right? So, ¿están listos? Are you ready? So, we can begin. Ok. Esto se puede escoger yo. Eh, veamos acá. Carla García, ¿estás aquí? Carla. Uh, what about Paola? hi Carla. hi okay Carla what about your sentences las cosas que puede y las que no puede hacer um Hey, pictures. 
perdón, eh, Carla, no le... No se escucha bien. Nosotros sí la escuchamos, Carla. Bueno, este, no sé, chicos voluntarios, porque pues la verdad eh, la participación ha sido bien poca, ¿verdad? Durante este día, y si yo digo un nombre, y si yo digo un nombre o no está, bueno, yo sé que están ocupados, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, pues, si, si digo el nombre, no, en realidad no sé si es que no está, o si está ocupado, o ocupada, ¿verdad? No puede contestar, etc. Entonces, quizás nos vamos a ir por participación, ¿verdad? Si se hizo la tarea o quiere compartir las oraciones en este momento, no hay ningún problema, you can do it. Dígame, Mary. I can attend an English, English class, but I can't teach the English class. Okay, repeat it one more time, I'm sorry. I can attend an English class, but I can't teach the English class. Okay, I can attend the English class, but pero la, la, el verbo de la segunda oración no lo, no lo entiendo, perdón. But, oh, pero... Mary, fíjate que creo que tiene problemas de conexión porque se le, se le escucha cortado, se le escucha como robotic. Inténtelo nuevamente, por favor. I can attend in the English class. English class. No, no. No sé si alguien más le escuchó o es, ustedes escuchan el mismo problema, perdón. Sí, se le escucha cortado. Sí, se le escucha cortado. Sí. Ah, pues lo siento, Mary, pero sí, ah, como que hay problemas de conexión, pero thank you very much. Muchas gracias por su participación. ¿Alguien más? Yo, teacher. Oh, go ahead. Um, I can drive a car. Ok. I can play baseball. I can dance salsa. Ok. Only. Only dos things. Ok, thank you very much. Just let me do something. I'm going to stop sharing here y lo voy a compartir toda la pantalla. Ok, thank you very much. Who's next? ¿Quién sigue? Me. Go ahead. Me. No sé quién dijo mí. Bueno, sí la escuché a Lady, pero no sé a, a quién se le ha quedado ahí la señal. Creo que a Teresa. Uh, hello. Hello, Teresa. Ok. Eh, I can... Ay, Teacher, no sé si puede moverte. Uh, lady, me espera entonces, but I don't, thank you, vaya Teresa. Sorry, thank you. Uh, I can do, uh, I can do play soccer. Pero solo puede ser un verbo en este caso. Ah, ya, yeah, perdón, I, perdón. I can, I can play soccer. Muy bien. But I can't fix. Okay, I can't. I can't paint picture. Okay, I can play soccer, but I can't play paint pictures. Okay. But I can't. Okay. But I can't uh, paint picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, Teresa. Lady. Okay. I can make um, that food, um, but I can't um, make, um, I don't remember the food, it's the, um, the eggplant. Eggplant? Yes. Well, um, is I can make food a diversity or diversity 
uh, food, but I can make the eggplant. Okay, I can prepare. Okay, I can prepare different food, dishes. different dishes. Okay, but I can't prepare eggplants. Okay, very good. Okay. Excellent. So I can prepare different dishes, right? Yeah, and but I can't prepare eggplants. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. I remember at the beginning it was kind of difficult for me because I didn't know how to prepare them. I didn't know how to cook them, or I, I didn't know how to include them in a dish, right? But if you look for different recipes, there are plenty. Hay muchísimas, pero muchísimas recetas para esto. Pero sí, la comprendo perfectamente. It happened to me before. But then I got used to it. So thank you very much, lady. ¿Alguien más que quiera participar? Someone else? Go ahead. Uh, I can do make. Wait, I can <laughs> do make make. Se dice maquillarse, se puede oh, decir. No, in this case, I can um, put on. Así, verdad? I can put on makeup. Creo que me, me estaba diciendo. Okay. Uh huh. I can, Así es, put on ¿eh? makeup. I can put on makeup, uh -huh. okay. Um, um, I can recite, recitar. Yeah, I mean, it's recite, pero ¿qué quiere decir? ¿Qué quiere... Recitar poemas. Ah, pues sí, recite poems or tell uh -huh. them, sure a poem. Okay. Pero, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pues, Entonces es, I can put on makeup, but, ¿verdad? Con esa eh, expresión me la está diciendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, very yes. good. Ok, este, I can driver, I can, um, I can cook. Uh -huh. I can dance. But I can't dance. Maybe? Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. cook, but I can't dance. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Anita. Very kind. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who más, people? Me, teacher. teacher. Okay, Claudita, dígame. I can drive my car. Mm -hmm. I can play the guitar. Okay. I can cut, I can draw, I can dancing, I can sing, I can run, I can play the guitar. Oh, okay, ya la había incluido. So, mm -hmm. solo alcancé a escuchar, I can drive my car, but I can't play the guitar. Mm -hmm. Luego me dijo, I can dance, no dancing, uh -huh. I can dance, mm -hmm. but I can't mm -hmm. sing. Right? Mm -hmm. Y luego me dijo, I can run, but I can play the guitar. Pero la okay. Sí. Okay, thank uh -huh. you very much. Clarita, very kind. Someone mm -hmm. else? Alguien más? Teacher. Okay, hi. Me? Okay, let's go on for that. I can swing, but I can play the piano. Se le escucha cortado, perdón, no escuchamos lo primero. You, you listen to me? I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. I can't to swing. I can't to swing, but I can't play the piano. Ok, aquí no decimos to swim, ¿verdad? Sino que es swim. El verbo tiene que ir en forma base. I can swim, but... Ok. I, can... I can't play the piano. Muy bien, very good. I can eat cake, cake but I can't cook. Okay. 
Vaya, pero acá tampoco puedo decir que en to cook porque el verbo va en forma base. Vaya, ah, okay. Ajá. Okay. El, vaya me dijo, I can eat. A cake. Ah, I can eat a cake, muy bien. But I can, pero no lo puedo cocinar, algo así me quiere decir. Yes. Vaya, okay. Entonces no lo puedo hornear, sería I can bake it. Bake. Oh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Gracias a usted. I can eat a cake, but I can bake it. No lo puedo preparar. ¿Alguien más que quiera participar? ¿Alguien más? Ok, muy bien. Ok, guys, thank you very much for your participation. Right. And actually, that's the way we are going to express ability. Right. Now, what I recommend, lo que recomiendo es que hagan ejercicios, ¿verdad? As many exercises as possible, right? Ahí, eh, bueno, yo les di una lista, pueden utilizar esta lista, ¿verdad? O pueden eh, buscar pues, eh, otras opciones siempre en línea. And there are plenty of them, hay muchísimos. Así que, don't um, try not to, um, not to use the rubber right next to can. Porque decíamos que cuando usamos can, a la par, siempre vamos a usar una forma base. Es idéntico que en español. Es igual. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo expreso yo ability en español? Bueno, hago lo mismo, ¿right? Yo voy a decir, yo puedo pintar, o yo puedo dibujar, o yo puedo preparar, o yo puedo cantar, ¿no o yo puedo eh, usar la computadora, yo puedo sacar las copias, ¿verdad? Eh, yo puedo... Eh, pintar el cuadro, pintar la casa, etc. So in that case, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be, you know, trying to modify the verb. All what you have to do is to use the structure. Es igual que en español, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si usted dice yo puedo bailando, eso sería yo puedo I can dance, ¿verdad? No, entonces en español es igual que en español. Yo puedo bailar. Entonces cuando yo uso los los ver infinitives, porque esos son los que son, así se llaman, que fueron los que vimos la primera semana. Decíamos que los ver infinitives no van a ir modificados por nada ni tampoco llevan la partícula to. ¿Ok? Así que, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be just the, probably the most important thing to uh, mention from this. Let, let me share with you the, the examples, ¿ok? Through the chat. Y quizás voy a hacer unos acá rapidito. Ah, thank you, Mary. Gracias, Mary. Ella no te había dicho. I can attend the English class, but I can teach it. Okay. I can read a book, but I can write it. I can paint, but I can draw. Muy bien, Mary. Thank you very much. So let me go ahead and share the examples that I just wrote on the board. Now, eh, when it comes to sentences, vamos a hacer acá más oraciones, right? And let's go ahead and talk about contrast. Cuando nosotros usamos but, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de contraste. Contrast. Oops. Ok, estoy contrastando una idea con la otra. Ok, como lo, me, lo que me estaba diciendo Lady, por ejemplo, I can prepare uh, different dishes, right? I can prepare a variety of dishes, but I can prepare excellent. Right? Entonces, hay un contraste entre lo que puedo y lo que no puedo, entre una idea y la otra, right? So, whenever we use that, it's because you want to show contrast, right? You want to show contrast. Okay? Very good. For example, eh, bueno, tomamos una, de la, una oración que nos acaba de compartir Mary, right? Ella decía, I can read a book. A veces puede usar la coma si usted quiere, ¿verdad? Si no, pues mira, sí, but I can um, write it this way. I can write it, escribirlo, or I can write one. No puedo escribir uno, ¿verdad? So I can read a book, but I can write one. Y luego no sé si a ella, I can attend. Uh, the English class, o sea, esta clase, the English class, but I can't teach it. Yeah. 
pero no puedo enseñarla, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, those are some examples whenever you want to show culture, right? Now, if I want to practice, right, with the three, with the three different type of sentences, well, just do it on your own, right? So you begin with, I can drive a car. I can drive a car. Question, right? Can I drive a car? Okay, or where can I drive a car? Street, okay. Okay, so it says I can drive a car, I can't drive a car. Can I drive a car? Where can I drive a car? On the street, right? So in this case, yes, I can, no, I can't, right? Yes, I can. Or if it is mad, or I know I can. Okay, entonces eso es así. Pongan hacer, hacer, digamos, como una práctica en solamente usted solito, ¿verdad? Entonces, positive, negative question. Puedo hacer una WH question, okay, and then just try to write as many sentences as possible, many sentences as possible, right? So I will share with you in the chat. Muy bien. So let's continue. After this, right you find a another objective which is the last one it says by the end of this class you will read and discuss an article about four unique american races you will also develop develop skills in reading for specific information right so if skills or reading skills are very very uh, important right and even well creo que en español nosotros somos así verdad también sentimos que hay tal vez una forma en la que rapidito escaneamos la información, you skim it, ¿verdad? usted rapidito la revisa solo para tener una idea de qué se va a tratar. For example, if you have a report, right, it's very easy report, so uh, all what you have to do is to scan it, con la mirada de escanea, que son los puntos más importantes, and you, and you just, by looking at it, you say, mm, creo que está, no está listo, oh, solo revisé esto y esto, right. So the same happens when you're reading in anything. I mean, it could be an article. What I mean, whatever the information is, you can put that into practice, right? So when you come here and you start reading an article, you just start reading, start skimming the information, scanning, right? Just to have an idea about what the article is about, right? So it says, race the U.S. Read about four unique American races, right? So as you know, in the United States, um, mostly, right? There are many competitions, right? There are many, um, you know, type of um, races, right, that take place over there. And that is due to the fact that there are plenty of sports that they play. And also, not only that, but the fact that during the four seasons, they can, you know, practice all those sports. So there you have the first one, right? Uh, but before I start, antes de comenzar, porque ustedes me van a ayudar a leer, eh, ¿hay alguna, pal alguna palabra que no conozcan? ¿Alguna palabra del vocabulario que sientan que no, no la conocen? Es que, ahorita, escanelo, escanelo la información y dígame si ve algo que no. Teacher, para empezar, race. Race, es una carrera. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, race, uh -huh. una competición, una carrera. Carrera. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Any other question, guys? Recuerden que race tiene, por ejemplo, es la que otro significado, ¿verdad? Que, bueno, acá en, en el contexto en el que la tenemos, pues es una carrera, una competencia, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Pero, pues ya en otro contexto, race ya pasa también. Lo que no hablamos de contexto cultural. Ok, ¿any other word that probably you don't know? Empire, teacher. Empire. It's the name of a uh, building. Es, así se llama el Empire State, ¿vale? ¿right? Es un edificio que no en Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si encontramos una oportunidad. 
Is this one the vampire state? It's a very famous building in the United States. Okay, any other questions? No questions. Long, long has, long, did the long has now rise? Uh, in which, uh, I mean, paragraph, one, two, three, or four? Three. Number three, the longest. Mm -hmm. Longest, in este caso, es un superlativo, right? No, no lo encuentro con mi vista todavía, pero veamos qué es esta. La palabra que usted dice es esta, ¿verdad? The longest, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. The longest mm -hmm. es un superlativo, ¿verdad? Recordemos que los, los eh, en este caso, tienen diferentes niveles, ¿verdad? Y este sería el superlativo, el comparativo, ¿verdad? Comparativo del, del adjetivo sería... Eh, longer, ¿verdad? Y the longest es el más largo, right? Y pues el adjetivo base es long, ¿verdad? Que es largo. Entonces, cuando nosotros hablamos de adjetivo, ¿no? adjective, que, que, como hablábamos antes de los, decíamos los eh, diferentes niveles del, del adjetivo, lo veíamos en lenguaje y literatura, ¿verdad? Empezamos con long, largo, longer, más largo y the longest, el más largo, right? Entonces, ahí están nivel, los tres niveles, right? Entonces, en este caso, the longest, el más largo, el más extenso, ¿verdad? Ah, aquí está, this is the longest down river, ajá, es el más largo, más extenso. Mm -hmm. Ok, any other question? Very good. So let's begin, right? Um, let, I will ask you, le voy a preguntar. Eh, who wants to help me reading? ¿Quién me puede ayudar a leer? Let me see. Si no, los que, los que quedan, pues, I will, I will help. Yo ayudo también. So raise your hands. Ahorita estoy viendo acá la pantallita. Okay, lady, thank you very much. Teresa, thank you very much. ¿Quién más? Ok, so lady. Yeah. Ok, Anita, thank you. Eh, lady, ayúdeme con el primero. Teresa, ayúdeme con el segundo, que es este. Eh, Anita, ayúdeme con el tercero. Y pues si nadie más con, va, va a participar, me voy a leer yo acá en la, en la sección 4. Ok, so let's begin. Ok. Climb the stair of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run up. The climb is um, 1,050 feet. Very good. Three, three, uh, 320 meters and 86 floor or 1,565 steps. 75. 75. Yes. Winners can reach the top in the just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Okay, very good. Good job, lady. Thank you very much. A lot of numbers, right? So imagine it says winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Yeah. And the client is 1,056 floors. Imagine. You know, climbing that, you know, to the top in 10 to 11 minutes, you know. At least your arms have to be very strong, right? So otherwise you wouldn't be able to hold. Okay, thank you, lady. What about the second one, Teresa? Okay. Uh, take eight or, de or 10 days to race across America for Inver, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire use in this 2,900 mil. 900. 900. 900 mil. Mile. Mil. Mile. Uh, 
four thousand six hundred sixty seven kilometers bicycle race. In, the, in this race, there are no times out for sleep. For eight to ten days, risers can sleep only about three hours each day. Okay, thank you very much. Very kind, Teresa. Okay, for eight to ten days, racers. Racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Can you imagine that? Bueno, algunos me van a decir, no, teacher, no, no tengo que imaginar el experimento, but because it happened to me before, <laughs> right? So uh, there are some people that sleep very little, right? So, Pobres atletas. Yes, imagine, you know, only three hours each day. So you have to get ready in advance, right? So you can go ahead and, and uh, you know, go through, you know, all those situations, right? And being deprived of sleeping well, right? Okay, thank you. Uh, what about number three, um, Anita? Okay, race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Don River, Don River race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles. Miles. Uh, Miles, uh, 41.5 kilometer, kilometer, how do you say kilometer? Kilometers, kilometers. Okay, okay. In just two hours. This is the longest dawn river rise in the USA on the person one boat take the challenge. Thank you very much, very kind. Anita, in Sound River, right? Sound River. Y la pronunciación, bueno, nosotros en español decimos Arkansas, right? pero en inglés se dice Arkansas, right? Sin la S del final, es Arkansas, right? Muy bien, excelente. So, one person, one boat, take the challenge, right? No, thank you in my case, right? Just imagining myself going in that little thing, right? And just going down the river, you know? Who knows if I'm going to make it, right? <laughs> ¿Quién sabe si voy a poder llegar a la final? No, thank you, but... I can watch for a little Okay, so thank you very much, Anita. And I will read the last one, right? It says, only possible in Alaska. The, it says, either, either road sled dog race, right? Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome over 1,150 miles. So 1,850 kilometers through cold wind and snow. Winners usually finish the course in nine to 12 days and receive cash prizes, right? Okay. Bueno, puedo aguantar si es cash, pero why not? And with the dogs, right? So I, I think we can make it. No, it's very cold, right? Imagine they have to go through, um, you know, I would say very, very low temperatures, right? Uh, it's very cold, right? And a lot of snow. But they have to be trained. Definitivamente son personas bien entrenadas para hacer esto y con perritos también que están super entrenados para eso, right? Okay, guys, so that's the end, right? That's the end of the, of the section. Y pues al finalizar, is, there is a knowledge check in 5.14, right? And uh, what you have to do is to um, read the information again and answer the questions, okay? So, um, ahí pues, Finalizamos con eso, right? Y vamos a pasarnos así rapidito, hacer todo un overview, porque hasta el momento, pues, eh, no hubieron preguntas del examen, así que espero no haya habido ningún problema, pero igual si hay alguno, pues, me puede decir a un momento. But right now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move to the, um, to the platform. Y solo me dicen, por favor, si pueden ver. Can you see the platform? Yes. Okay, very good. So it says, well, the first section we, that we have is the listening section, right? So it says instructions. Listen to four people describe their homes, right? Number the pictures from one to four. Type the numbers in letters. Do not need a capital letter or period, right? So please, uh, with that, just be careful, right? Porque 
con este ejercicio creo que la última vez que vi básico 2 ¿no? tuvimos un inconveniente y creo que era por eso, porque habían eh, capital letters, había, este, había estaba agregando puntos, entonces eso no nos permitía que quedara, que la tomara la respuesta, right? So all what you have to do is to listen, right? And to number the pictures from one to four, and that's it, right? And then in letter B, it says complete the conversation, right? Now for this particular um, section, remember that the final exam includes a little bit of everything, right? Not just focus on the um, sections that you, uh, that we have started for the week, but also the previous. So it says a uh, complete the conversation with some or any, okay? Vamos a ver qué recuerdan de some, qué recuerdan de any. What, what, what is the most important information that we have to that we have to know? ¿Qué es lo que no debemos olvidar de some and any? What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Hagamos una brainstorm. So, what do you remember? Some is for the question of um, firmity answer. Okay, very and good. Any, um, we use a um, negative answer. Okay, very good. So, she was saying that uh, you can use some, right, when it comes to questions. And we also said that we can use it with questions whenever we're offering. Cuando estamos ofreciendo algo, we can go ahead and use it in a question, right? Uh, for example, would you like? Would you like some coffee, right? So you can use it for offerings, right? So we can use it for offers. O sea, cuando estamos haciendo preguntas, Por ejemplo, would you like some coffee? E, the CIA, yeah, we use it in affirmative sentences, right? Affirmative sentences. Very good. For example, I, I need some, what, some bread. ¿Verdad? Necesito algo de pan. I need some bread. Very good. Now, podemos usarlo eh, de forma, pues, afirmativa. No necesariamente solo con singular, porque, este, no, perdón, no necesariamente solo con plural, porque van a haber palabras que son incontables con las que yo puedo utilizarlo, como por ejemplo, coffee and bread, right? Pero si yo ya estoy hablando de algo en particular, una cosa, pues no lo necesito, ahí voy a ocupar a or an, ¿verdad? For example, I need, I need a chair. Necesito una silla en este, en este estudio. I need a chair. Ok. Entonces, pues, voy a usar some solo cuando sea, pues, plurales y o cuando sea algo incontable. I need some money, por ejemplo. I need some money. Right? Ok. Y, pues, me decía eh, Lady, ¿verdad? Que usamos any for negative statements. Ok. Muy bien. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, there isn't. Any um, chairs in the room? ¿Verdad? Llegó, la, llegó las visitas, llegó la visita, perdón, y no hay días, ¿verdad? O, oh, there isn't any milk in the fridge, ¿verdad? No hay leche, ¿ok? Entonces, uh, there, it's like, you can use it with a singular and plural, ¿verdad? Y pues lo último que debemos recordar con any es que si yo estoy hablando de la existencia de algo, lo voy a utilizar en la pregunta, right? Is there, is there any students in the classroom? Is there any students in, no, in the students, in the classroom? Hay algún estudiante, hay algún estudiante, is there any student in the classroom? Okay. Uh, are there are there any apples in the basket? Okay. Are there any apples in the basket? Right. Entonces, eh, ese es el uso de some, verdad? En, en, en. Okay. 
Entonces, todo lo que hay que hacer acá es ponerlo en práctica. Right. So, you're going to, uh, you're going to select, you know, the best option. Por supuesto, acá, pues, eh, tiene que ponerlo en práctica si es eh, singular, plural, ¿verdad? O incontable. Then, in letter C, it talks a little bit about eh, adverse of frequency, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo decíamos que utilizamos los adverbios de frecuencia? ¿Cuándo los vamos a utilizar? ¿Cuándo utilizo adverbios de frecuencia? When do I use adverse of frequency? Bueno, su mismo nombre lo dice, ¿verdad? Adverse of frequency, they show frequency. En verdad, van a compartir la frecuencia con la que nosotros hacemos ciertas actividades, ¿verdad? Right? Y pues yo les compartí un cuadrito ahí en el chat, ¿verdad? En donde pueden ver otras opciones, aparte de las que vieron acá dentro de la plataforma. Right, y pues, all what you have to do is to read the sentence, right, and choose the best one, right? The best one meaning that if the sentence is correct or incorrect, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí dice, never I play soccer on weekends, ¿verdad? The sentence is correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Of course, right, incorrect. Why? Because in this case, I cannot begin bueno, no sé que sea el maestro Yoda. I cannot begin with, you know, the, the that specific section right now. So the order that we have is subject, you know, adverb frequency, verb and complement, ¿verdad? Y pues lo que puedo utilizar algunas veces, porque yo siento que igual se ve bien, ¿verdad? Y pues ahí lo mostraba también el instructor, es sometimes. I can begin the sentence with sometimes. I can say sometimes. She feels very tired, right? That's a, a good option. I wouldn't consider that as incorrect. Um, they usually study English at night. They usually study English at night. Correct or incorrect? Correct. It's correct, correct. right? Because I have this specific, these specific elements, right? Subject, other frequency, verb, and complex. Okay, so there you have the list. Right, and you have to complete it. Then in letter D, it says choose the correct meaning of WH question words, right? So this is something that we started at the beginning, right? And we have five different options, okay? You have time, place, people, choice, thing, or object, right? So we were able to explain each of those during class, right? So you have to just select the correct answer. And then in letter E, it says use the correct use, <laughs> okay? Use the correct form, right, of can or can't, right? And then it says read the following sentences, choose either can or can't. Just type the word in, no capital letter or period name. Right, so just pay attention to the instructions, right? If it says no capital letter, no period, so you're good to go. I am very hungry, I, and then you select your answer. So de acuerdo al contexto, es afirmativo o negativa, so you're going to decide that. The next one is the letter F, right? And this one says fill in the blanks and complete conversations, right? So it says complete the conversation, select the, op the option that completes the two blank fields in each sentence or question, right? So you have two options. Tiene el auxiliar que necesita para la pregunta y tiene el verbo. Pero antes de ver los ejemplos acá, ¿qué es lo que yo tengo que recordar con respecto al auxiliar y a los verbos en inglés? ¿Qué sucede cuando uso auxiliar? El verbo no cambia. Exactly, right? Yo no puedo cambiar el verbo porque automáticamente pues el auxiliar está haciendo, está cumpliendo su función. En este caso pues el, las oraciones están en presente simple, right? So as we were saying, como decíamos, present simple es como el, el chico ahí con el que más cuesta lidiar, ¿verdad? Porque con él hay que tener en cuenta las reglas para la tercera persona, hay que ver qué tipo de subject es, si es singular o plural, etc. 
Entonces, if I'm using an auxiliary, si yo estoy usando un auxiliar, pues automáticamente sé que el verbo que voy a utilizar no lo voy a modificar. Si es do or does, I don't modify my verb, right? Entonces, dice Linda, okay, blah, 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 you, blah, 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 in an apartment, right? Entonces, al ver el subject, yo sé que mi auxiliar is going to be do. Y que si el verbo, pues, es leave, lo voy a dejar tal cual. Entonces, do you live, right? Do you live in an apartment? Okay. And then you have, you know, the answers, short answers, right? No, I, and then you select the, the correct uh, combination, right? So, si es I, bueno, yo sé que va a ser don't, right? Y pues, si es una oración afirmativa, si es I, tampoco lo voy a modificar, así que I leave. So, no, I don't, I leave in a house, okay? So, that is the exercise about, okay? ¿Quiénes ya terminaron todos los ejercicios de la plataforma? Levanten la mano. Este ya terminaron. Bueno, la mayoría de los terminó. Si no, chicos, recuerden pues que tenemos hasta hoy, ¿verdad? Al menos para que quede completado y quede registrado. ¿Y por qué? Dice por la, por la inscripción. ¿verdad? Recuerden que no pueden mandar su documentación, porque me imagino que hasta este punto su documentación ya la mandaron, ¿no? pero la documentación no se puede mandar si no aparece que usted ha pasado el nivel. Por eso es que tiene que ser lo más pronto posible. Right? Ok, very good. So, eso es acerca del examen. Vuelvo a preguntar, no vaya a ser, ¿verdad? ¿Hay alguien que tenga alguna pregunta con respecto al examen? No questions about the exam. Qué bueno. No, Miss. Fine. Great. Oh, Very good. Me alegro, me alegro mucho que no haya habido inconveniente. So let's go ahead and continue. There is just a quick exercise that I have, right? Okay. So there, it's about can and can't, right? Uh, so it says the first one. Can you count backwards from 1 to 20? Bueno, no lo pongamos from, from, from 1 to 20. Okay? Pongámoslo from 1 to 10. Right? No, from, from 10. De 10 para abajo, pongámoslo. Can you count backwards from 10? Can you? ¿Y quién lo quiere intentar? Backwards. Ay, Dele. Mira, Ajá. Mira. Eh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. Lo hubiera dejado desde el 20, ¿verdad? No, mira. Thank you, Anita. Very kind. Okay. So, what about the second one? Can you say thank you in four languages? Can any one of you say thank you in four languages? Vamos a ver. Four languages. Me? Okay, Teresa. Okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Arigato. Yes. Grazie. Grazie. Okay, very good. Excellent. So you can say thank you in four languages. Okay, now the next one. Can you name the capital cities of five countries? Capital cities of five countries. Who can do that? ¿Quién puede? Veamos. Can you name the capital cities of five countries? ¿Ya han visto esos videos ustedes donde les preguntan a la gente? Me. ¿Quién dijo me? Lady. Lady, <laughs> perdón, es que, es que, es que no, no, como tenían manitas levantadas, voy a bajar las manos. Maya lady. So let's see. Let's listen to you. Estados Unidos, Washington. Yeah. Washington, D.C., okay. Uh, only, the con only the capital, not the country? I mean, if you want to add the country, that's perfect. So United okay. States, Washington. United States is Washington, and the Canada is Ontawa. In the um, Honduras is Tegucigalpa. 
Nicaragua is Managua. Um, Guatemala is Guatemala. México es el Distrito Federal o la Ciudad de México. Um, de Roma, Italia. No, al revés, de Italia, Roma. Ok. Um, maybe so. Ok. So no, oh, five, five. They were five, okay? So very good. So you mentioned Canada, Nicaragua, you mentioned Guatemala, Mexico City, and I don't remember the other one you said, but you mentioned five already. Okay, so thank you very much, lady. What about this one? Can you say I love you in three different languages? Can you say I love you in three different languages? Who can do that? <laughs> well, I think... Well, I will do it. I, I will do ¿Sí? this one. ¿Quién dijo mí? Yo. Digo, mí. Espérenme, que no veo los <laughs> micrófonos. Ah, dijo Teresa or Mary. Yes. No, yo Teresa. no. Ok. Ok. I love you. In, this, in English. English. Eh, te amo en español. Spanish. Eh, en Dutch. Dutchland. No, Dutch. Eh, alemán. Dutch. Dutch is each lieberich. Okay, very good. And then in French is the same, right? Y solamente. And that's it. Okay. So thank you very much, Teresa. Very kind. Then uh, can you name 10 animals in English? Can you name 10 animals in English? Uh huh. Ten animals in English. Yeah. <laughs> Only five. <laughs> By a five. Let's begin. Cat. Cat. Dog. Eh, lion. Eh, tor tor tu tor tu toro. Tor toro. Toro. Eh, toro. Eh, fish. Fish, ok, very yes. good. Mm -hmm. Ok, cinco más. ¿Quién sigue? ¿Quién le va a ayudar a Lorita? Five more. Elephant. Elephant. Ah, uh, Bear. Gorillas. Bear. Cow. Cow. Lion. <laughs> ya estaba lion. Fish. Dolphin. Dolphin. Penguin. Ah, penguin. Penguin. Okay, very giraffe. good. Giraffe, it's true, right? So there are plenty, okay? Good job. Uh, can you name the months in English? Months. Can you name the months in English? September, October, May, June, July, January, February, March, April, and December, November. August. Excellent. Very good. She didn't do it in order, but she mentioned all of them, right? Excellent. Uh, can you name the days of the week in English? Days of the week. Monday. Monday. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. Uh, Saturday. Friday, ah, Thursday, eh, Friday, 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 eh, Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> and Sunday, right? Okay, thank you very much to both of you, right? Then, can you say a tongue twister in English? A tongue twister. Alguien que se pueda un tongue twister? Patricia. Ice cream. Patricia. El de ice cream. Ok. Lo puede. Ajá. Ice cream. Tell, tell it. Ajá. Don Twister. <laughs> Nadie. Diga, diga, diga. Very boss, I'll be the body, but the body, very boss, was here so very fast. Better, better, and it was better than the better, very well before. 
<laughs> okay, it's a tongue twister about butter beater, right? Okay, or in this case, eh, es el de uh, la mantequilla amarga. Este es, eh, Betty bought a bottle yeah. of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter, so yeah. Betty made a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. <laughs> okay, this one is a good one. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So, guys, uh, I'm going to stop here because it's time. Eh, ha sido un placer, pues, haberles atendido. Y, pues, eh, ya, pues, damos por finalizado, ¿verdad? El módulo 2. Y, pues, pasan al módulo 3. Pues, para algunos de ustedes, probablemente el, 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 el sistema es, es diferente, ¿verdad? Lo que ustedes probablemente han estado haciendo es una hora, pero eh, la idea, o por decirlo así, el objetivo principal de este programa es eh, que usted sea más autodidacta, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, pues, el soporte que nosotros estamos para darles pues está siempre disponible verdad y esperamos pues que sigan aprovechando esta oportunidad así que ha sido un placer chicos thank you very much for joining los con los certificados o los diplomas recuerden que hay que esperar verdad a veces están disponibles después que uno termina a veces no porque okay? el para este para este módulo creo que sí hay que esperar un poquito o esperar las instrucciones verdad de, de administración Pero cualquier cosa, usted no se preocupe que yo doy fe que usted termina. No, mentira. ¿Ok? <ríe> no, pero sí le van a dar su certificado, solo si no lo ven disponible, paciencia, ¿verdad? Así que, thank you, guys. And, bueno, tal vez nos seguimos viendo más adelante, quien quita, ¿ok? Así que, disfruten su tarde. Happy weekend, ¿verdad? Ya mañana thank es viernes. You, thank you. You're welcome, Glorita. Un thank placer. you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Thank you, teacher. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Take care. Take care. A la orden, Natalie. Take care and see you around. Nos vemos por ahí, como dice. Okay? Bye-bye, guys. Okay, bye. 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 Bye, Miss. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.